In this video, we are going to continue with displacement, velocity and acceleration. You will find this on page 352 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. A particle travels in a straight line so that t seconds after leaving a fixed point O, the velocity v meters per second is given by that is the velocity. Find the initial velocity. Now, initial velocity is always when t is equal to zero. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So, I'm just going, in the place of t, I will substitute zero, so the initial velocity will also be zero. Okay. Find the expression for the acceleration of the particle. So always remember it like this. If you think of your table, it was S, V, A. And if I want to move from velocity to, I must differentiate. Don't forget that. Okay, so differentiate the um, velocity equation to find the equation for acceleration. So as soon as I differentiate, uh, where was my equation? I can just move it a little bit down. There is, so it's going to be 12 minus 2, 2t. Two okay, now I go on. Determine the maximum velocity. Now that it may, that is to do with turning point. That's what I was showing you. That's the maximum. So think back of turning points. So find the x value of the turning point by substituting a is equal to zero. So in the differentiated, make the gradient, what is the gradient there at the turning point? It's zero, and that's why I substitute zero. So at that turning point, I get, and I want to show it to you here, I get that t will be six, okay? So if I'm so to find the y value, or the other value of the turning point, the velocity, actually the v, but in terms of a um, coordinate point, it will be y, I just substitute the value of x, can you remember x, in the original. No, I, I want to write that original, because every time I'm looking for it, and then I cannot find it. Okay, so let's just write it down. The original one was velocity. So I take that value of 6, and I substitute it in the original. Okay. And then the maximum velocity will be 36. Okay, so think of a turning point. Then find the distance. Oh, I must go back. So I must go back from velocity. Then what will I do? I will integrate. Okay. Okay, so uh, find the distance of the trial during the first. So it's from 0 to 2. So 0 to 2. And I'm going to integrate. And if I integrate, I add 1, divide by that 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by the 2, add 1, divide by 3, 2 and 0. And then I substitute. And then, usually this is going to become 0, but not always. Especially if we, in the next chapter, with integration, work with lin and e. So it's better just to check it out. And then I get my answer. Okay, and that's 21 and a third meters. And determine when the particle comes to rest. Okay, so very important. The particle comes to rest when there's no movement, when the velocity is zero. So basically in this, I'm just going to put zero. And if I put this, this is uh, it's at rest at zero. And then after 12 seconds, then it, it's coming also to rest. Okay, it's a bit more complicated and more things, but it's, it's just bringing back the knowledge of differentiation and also the knowledge of integration. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Let's just move it down. Move it like this, so that you can see it nice. Okay. You can do number one. Okay, 
You can continue the video as soon as you are finished, but first try to do it on your own. I read, a bus starts from a race at crossroads B and travel in a straight line with acceleration A by, so they're giving acceleration, with T seconds in the time taken after leaving B. Okay. Find an expression for the velocity. Now, I always, let's just put this mic at number one. So, if I'm going to have speed, oh, not speed, not speed, <laughs> this is going to be distance, velocity, acceleration. So, I'm going to always remember this. I also created a nice poster on this. And then integration. Okay, so if I'm starting with this one, let's start with number A. Uh, don't forget, uh, that's A, but that's also acceleration. Okay, find the expression for velocity. So from A to V, then I'm just going to say to get V, I'm just going to integrate. Don't forget you are integrating to T. That's why I write DT. And if I integrate, I'm going to get 5T, there's not, uh, there's only a constant, so I had the T, and then T2 over 2. And don't forget your C, because it is no boundaries. It's an indefinite um, integration. Okay, now I start and I say, when T is 0, V is equal to 0. Okay. So, at the beginning, the movement was zero. So, I'm just substituting it in. In the place, I put zero. And therefore, I get C1 is equal to zero and V is equal to 5t minus t squared over 2. Okay, now I'm going to go on to number B. Um, I think we can make it a bit smaller now. Because you already were reading the question. Gives me to write a little bit. Okay, number B. The first one. The bus next comes to rest at traffic light D. Okay. Find the time taken to reach D. So, don't forget. At rest. When there's no movement. And no movement is when the velocity is zero. So, I'm, I'm going to, there's my velocity in the place, I'm going to substitute zero. I think I'm going to keep it to white. I'm working with that. Zero equals, no, then. Zero equals five t minus t squared over, over, over 2. So basically, I, I think you can get rid of the 2, but it's not necessary. Just take t out. Then you get 5 minus t, one t is out. So therefore, t is at 0, it's at raise, um, or 
And now you just put that one, 5 minus t over 2 equals 0. So 5, I'm doing it long, okay, not necessary. t over 2, so put it over 1, cross multiply. So therefore, t is equal to 10. Okay, so now because it's like a word sum, always word sums, we, we like to end nicely. I usually sometimes. So therefore, Time taken to reach T is 10 seconds. Okay, but we're not finished. Okay, calculate the distance BD. Oh, now where am I now? No, I'm going, I usually don't like it, but because I was writing so small in the beginning, I'm going to use this now. It's going to do it like this. And I'm going to just do it here. Okay, just to fit everything on a page. But please, in the exams, write underneath each other, not next to it. It makes it difficult for the markers. Okay. So I'm going to now go find the time taken to reach D. So this is B. This is B, the second one. Now I have velocity, but I don't have this distance. So first I must get distance. And now what do I do? I integrate the velocity. Do you see? I integrate. And what was the velocity? 5t minus t squared over 2 dt. And that is going to give me 5t, it's 2 over 2 minus, oh, let's just get it correct, t plus 1, 3 over 2, 3. And now another C. It's open. Do you see? So it's indefinite. Okay. So uh, I can leave it like that. I think the next step I will just bring that 6 in. Okay. So rather go that when T is 0, S is also 0. So basically, I'm going to say 0 equals, and now I just substitute all that zeros in the place of t. Now I bring the 6, do you see? But I just say, therefore, c2 is 0, and what is the s is equal to 5 over 2 t squared minus uh, 1 over 6, we can leave it like that, 1 over 6, t to the power of 3. There is my value of s. Okay, I think I can clean number b now, now before, before I do the last one. Uh, calculate the distance uh, bd. So, we are not finished with this one. Um, I just want to finish it first. Um, I don't like to work like that. Next time I'll roll the clean. Okay, so again, for bd, For BD, when, don't forget, when T is 10, so then S is equal to 5 over 2, 10 squared minus 1 over 6, 10 to the power of 3. And if you take your calculator, work this out, you're going to get 83 and one third meter. That's going to be your answer. Okay, and then the final one. Okay, I'm asking, find the maximum. And now I must clean. Okay, I used the 10 and this is why I was not cleaning. Really don't like to write like this. I'll not do it in the next video. I'll rather clean from the beginning. Okay. Okay, and then the last one 
it's going to be be the third one. Uh, find the maximum speed of the bus during its journey from B to D. So maximum, can you just write here? Maximum speed occurs when A is equal to zero. Okay, because why, why, why? Can I just show you? Because if, if you were taking the velocity, if you can remember the previous one, if you differentiate it, so basically I was taking an acceleration and I was getting D, uh, what will I say? I was taking to, to get, uh, let's draw the side like that. So to get this acceleration, it was DV over DT. And now it's that maximum point. So in the place, this is giving you the gradient. And in that place, we are going to put a zero. Okay. So in the place of dv over dt, that is in the derived function, we're going to put a zero in the acceleration. So therefore, t is equal to 5. And now I found T, I found T, but I'm, oh, the question was find the maximum speed. Speed is with velocity. So go back to your velocity. What is your velocity? It's, okay, I'll just write it first down. And don't forget that this was, that was A equals 5 minus T. So and now I'm just going to substitute 5. And again, if I calculate that, I'm just going to get 12 and a half meters per second. And that is going to be the maximum speed. Okay, so it's it's like after you put, think of think of think of think of this. Okay, so this is T. I just want to explain it a little bit more. And and this is V. So after you take this and you differentiate, then you get this formula, okay? Then you get that value, and that will give you that value, which was five. But then you always put it not in A, in the original formula, and in the original formula was V. Then you substitute in V. So basically, you were just getting that turning point. That was five, and the value of V there was 12 and a half, and they were asking you this one. Okay, okay, try to connect it also with the example um, of um, 38. And even if you have to do it more than once, then do it more than one time.